Hello, I am Ineas from ToloratedCinematics.com and welcome to the third and actually the fourth um, video of my tutorial series um, where I'm going to explain you on how to start editing your footage in Premiere Pro. So um, I will be um, going to my imported footage that I have shown you in the previous video. So if you haven't checked out my last video, um, be sure to check that one out um, about Premiere Pro so you can follow along in this tutorial. Um, so over here I have my footages and I will just click over here and I can see here is my footage and I want to skip it just a bit and there we go. Um, here it's lifting off so I want to use that um, as a video information. Uh, well, I want to use that in my montage. So I will click the I on the keyboard and then I'll go to the end where I want to stop it and I will click the O on the keyboard and I want to add the audio and video so I'll click over here, drag it around and put it in my timeline. And now you can see it over here and this is the timeline preview. So now what you want to do is add another one. Go over here, let's see what we have here. Okay here we see the uh, phantom again so I will press the I on the keyboard here and over here I will press the O on the keyboard so this is the out point and now you can drag and drop it and put it next to the other footage and you can see it's snapping to um, just the uh, the edge of your previous footage import and now if you play it back by pressing the space bar or clicking on play over here because this is a play for the preview this is a play for the timeline you can press play or space bar and then you will see your, uh, yeah, whatever you have edited so far. And there it goes to the other footage. So it's that easy to start editing. Um, over here you see the audio and that's um, fine for me because, um, well, it can be a little bit louder, but um, in this case, I don't really want it to be overdone. So that's uh, good for me. And again, press the space bar or the stop key and uh, to stop playing. Now, uh, if you have applied a lot of effects and you press the space bar, it won't be as smooth as uh, what you see right now. Right now, it's kind of uh, replaying pretty smooth without any trouble. But um, once applied uh, a lot of effects, it will have to be rendered a little bit um, to uh, cache everything, all the information to uh, play back it uh, uh, to play it back smoothly. So um, to do that, um, you can press the Enter key on here um, to do it so far. But now it's just playing it back immediately because you don't have uh, applied any effects. But um, if you have applied effects and you press Enter on the keyboard, um, then it will start loading um, a while and then you will have um, a smooth timeline. And this yellow bar will turn into green. And once it's green, it's going to play very smooth. But in this case, again, you don't really need that. So we will apply on our video footage. Um, over here, whatever do I want to use? Bad footage. Oh, no, it's it's OK. OK, endpoints, outpoints. And let's say you have imported it, but oh, you want to make it a little bit longer because you have forgotten to use this. You don't have to redo it by deleting this and re-importing this. You can go to the edges of your footage. And you can see over here that you can uh, see this red arrow. And if you hold your um, left mouse key and you drag it out, it will lengthen that video clip. And as you can see, it snaps here and it can go any further. And that's why, um, because the um, video here stops, so there is no information anymore. You can also drag it around here. And let's say on the left uh, edge, you want to make it a little bit longer here. So it snaps over there. Or you can make it shorter. Um, by again going to this edge and you can see it's uh, snapping to the left edge of this video instead of this video. You can do that by just selecting the, this video and then it will select the edge of this video selected. I can make it a little bit shorter and position it right over here. Um, again, let's say you want to put this video just in between this video. What you can do is uh, go on top over here and position it right over there. But then that's kind of a messy way again to work because you want to use the information played back in here right after that. And we can do that by slicing this up. So we can go to the slice tool and over here, the razor tool. And you can also get that common by uh, pressing the C on the keyboard. So um, 
and you will get a different kind of mouse if you hover on your video footage. And you can see if you don't hover on your video footage, it's drawing a red line um, through that option because you can't use it on nothing. So um, once you go over your footage, you can click and then it will slice that video footage. And then you can back, go back to the selection tool, which is V on the keyboard to, um, to get. And then you can just drag, drag it out and then drag this to the left. It will snap and then drag this and snap again. So now you know how to uh, import your footage and put it next together, how to make it longer or shorter and how to uh, slice open your videos. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and goodbye. Mm -hmm.